What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Alice and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're not new, welcome back to my channel. So for today's recipe, we're gonna make a delicious, super soft brioche. It has orange zest, chocolate chip, super easy to make, super delicious, and it stay fresh for days. It's so good. This recipe is just like amazing. And I'm gonna show you all the different steps. The only time consuming as always with the um, desserts that have yeast, so you have to let it rise, of course. Otherwise, it's gonna be like hard like rock. But in the meantime, you can do also something else. And those type of brioche, I would call it in the title probably brioche with um, or like orange and chocolate chip brioche like that kind of flavor super delicious you just sprinkle a little bit of a icing sugar at the end or you can also like glaze it with just like icing sugar and water just drizzle on top whatever you like you can cut it open you can put nutella you can put jam you can toast it you can put butter you can do whatever you want you can make french toast yum delicious super easy so let's get to the ingredients. The ingredients that you're gonna need for this recipe are. So these are the ingredients for the starter and you're gonna need flour, room temperature water, sugar, and dry yeast. All right, first things, you're gonna pour your flour into a bowl. Then you're gonna add the sugar, the dry yeast, and the room temperature water. And mix all together with the fork. Once you mix all the ingredients together, you're gonna put a lid on or some plastic wrap and you're gonna let it rest until it double in size, which is gonna take approximately four hours. After that, I'm gonna show you the rest of the recipe. So these are the remaining ingredients for your brioche. You're gonna need your starter, flour, vanilla powder, room temperature butter, sugar, eggs, orange zest, and warm milk. All right, first things, you're gonna pour your flour into the mixer. Then you're gonna add your sugar and your starter. Then you're gonna add your orange zest, the vanilla powder, your eggs. And while it's mixing, you're gonna add your room temperature milk little by little. Okay, now it's time to add your room temperature butter and as you can see, I cut it into small cubes and you're gonna add one cube at a time while the machine is mixing and you're gonna wait until the first cube is absorbed. it's time to place it into a clean bowl and then you're gonna cover it with a lid or with a plastic wrap and you're gonna let it rise for six hours after that i'm gonna show you the next step of the recipe all right you guys this is the result after we let the dough rise and now what we're gonna do we're gonna dust the surface with a little bit of flour and then we're gonna put our dough on the counter then we're gonna grab a little bit more flour. We're gonna put it on the surface and we're gonna flat our dough. And then we're gonna give a couple folds. So we're gonna fold, fold, press the dough, then turn it, 
We're gonna fold again one more time and then flip it. Then we're gonna divide the dough in half. And each half, we're gonna divide it in four. So we're gonna go down the middle. Then we're gonna grab a rolling pin. And also here I have some mini chocolate chips that are gonna go in the middle. So first thing, you're gonna roll your dough. chocolate chips you're gonna put it in the middle like so and then you're gonna roll it and make sure that the opening part stay underneath then you're gonna grab a sharp knife and you're gonna leave uh, like two fingers here and then you're gonna cut all the way down. And you're gonna flip it open so you can see the inside and then you're gonna start braiding it. Make sure the opening part stay on the surface. braiding your brioche you're gonna put it on a tray with plastic with parchment paper and then you're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and you're gonna let it rise for a couple of hours and then after that i'm gonna show you the rest of the steps now it's time to bake your brioche at 350 fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes and after that we're gonna be back for the best part the taste test are done they smell fantastic and as you can see from the video adding that orange zest and make the dough even more like a bright yellow which is amazing because when I used to bake in Italy we used to have those beautiful eggs with a really bright orange yolk but unfortunately here in Canada they're nowhere to be found probably is the type of food that they were fitting the chicken that they made the yolk really really bright and maybe they do something different here but with the orange zest as you can see it's nice and bright and it's not pale and sad so this is the recipe it was super easy to make as i can show you as i show you and like i said the smell it's fantastic they're super soft i'm going to show you one i decided to sprinkle a little bit of icing sugar on top because i'm not crazy about glaze but you can do a simple glaze of water and icing sugar and drizzle on top and like i said look at how like nice and soft you press and comes right up that's mean the yeast did a proper job super delicious i'm just like Keep going like this because I want to try it and I cannot wait. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. One more bite because I want to show you the inside. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Oh my god. Divine. Mmm. It's so light, fluffy, and airy, like delicious. And then you get those bits with the chocolate chip and then the orange zest come through and it just brings everything together. So good, like I said, you can toast it, you can cut it and toast it. You can make French toast, to be divine. You can just eat it like that with a nice cappuccino like the Italian people do. 
Usually in my house, we eat it for breakfast because Italian love more like a sweet breakfast than a savory breakfast. But you can have it any time of the day, like for a snack, after dinner, after lunch, whenever you have, hung whenever you're hungry, like any time is good. Like I said, if you put it in a Ziploc bag on a sealed con tight container, they, they last up to seven days but you can also freeze them after you cook them. You let them cool down, you put in a Ziploc bag and you freeze them. And every time you're craving a delicious brioche, you just put it in the oven for like two to three minutes until it thawed. And let me tell you, you're not gonna go to the bakery anymore. You're, you're the baker now, it's delicious. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this recipe with all the family and friends that you know. Also, all the ingredients and measurement are gonna be listed in the description box down below, as well as my Instagram page, Facebook page. And if you're gonna recreate this recipe, please take a picture and tag me at Alice Contesini on Instagram. And until next time, I'll see you soon, my beautiful people. Bye, love you.